Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the inaugural session of Angkor's Literary Fest. The November Literary Fest showcases the growth of each child as an individual as well as a performer. Over the next four sessions, the animated performances of these young people will take you on a roller coaster ride, soaring through the world of magic and fantasy, cruising amiably through comic realism, and pausing meditatively as we view human inequity through the eyes of the poet. The last four months have been spent exploring various genres of poetry and literature, and each child has selected the author or the piece that resonates most with them. Five children between the ages of seven and 17 will perform at each session, which will be a cocktail of poetry, stories, prose, monologues, and speeches. The November Literary Fest is not a competition, but feedback from you, the audience, is invited. Please send your star ratings for each performer to 9890415477. I will call it out after each performance, okay? Do this at the end of each performance, a maximum of five stars for each performer. You're also welcome to add a comment. But all feedback, please, must be live. Only those who are attending should send feedback. And all your feedback will be strictly confidential. Before we start, please welcome our chief guest, Elizabeth Sellon. Elizabeth, affectionately referred to as Ija by many, has dedicated her life to serving the marginalized and the poor. She has helped many innocent children devastated by the vagaries of fate to rediscover the joys of childhood. Welcome, Elizabeth. And from all of us, a very big thank you for all you have done. And we do hope you will say a word at the close of this session. So let's get on with today's session. And we start with our, one of our star students, Tanuj Gopale. That's a small modification from the program sent. Uh, Tanuj did us really proud at the TCL exams earlier this year. And today, he will be performing a monologue from the well-known story, The Pied Piper. The passage highlights the dangers of focusing on short-term gain at the expense of honesty and integrity. Yes, Tanuj, do come in and tell us a little bit about your piece and why you chose it. Yes, my name is Tanuj Gopale, and today I will be performing a monologue from The Pied Piper of Hamlet. This piece is about a Pied Piper who goes around town to town with his magical flute and helps people. And then he comes across a town where there are so many rats and they have annoyed the people to death. Then the, the mayor asks the Pied Piper if he can do something about it. The Pied Piper says, yes, he will play his magical flute and the rats will follow him into the lake. And after that, the mayor said, if he takes the rats away, he will give him a cash prize. And then the pipe piper, and then the mayor doesn't give him the money. Then the pipe piper threatens the townspeople. What do you mean you aren't going to pay me? I just got rid of those rats for you. They won't be back for a long time. If ever. So, where's my money? What? This is a joke, right? I have a family to feed, you know. You need to pay me now. I just single-handedly went from town to town playing my flute and had an army of rats following me. I got rid of them all. Every last one. If it wasn't for me, then you people would have gotten a horrible plague that would have killed almost everyone. You know that there are more things I can do with this flute of mine. 
and since you were smart enough to hire me to take care of the rats then you should be smart enough to know that you should pay me unless you want something terrible to happen still not going to pay me huh do you hear that the thunder and lightning surrounding us that's the magic starting to work say goodbye to your children thank you wow tanush that was a powerful performance and a chilling reminder that honesty is the best policy yes all of you <laughs> thank you so much tanush everybody please hear the number again 98904 One five four seven seven nine eight nine zero four one five four seven seven. Maria, ma'am, and Sandy, ma'am, you are both looking at the camera, not sending your star. Uh, We shall uh, do it in good time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Please write the name Tanuj. Yeah. T A N U J. All right. Thank you so much, Tanuj. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And our next performer, Shlok, is ready and raring to go. Tanuj, you can mute your mic. Shlok, please unmute. Tanuj, by the way, was traveling, got stuck in traffic. Can you see, ma'am? Can and you? And performed from his car. Yes, I can see you and hear you. Thank you, Shlok. Oh. Okay, Shlok has chosen a piece by Ken Nesbit. Unfortunately, I spelled Nesbit with one T. It's supposed to have two. So apologies to Mr. Nesbit. Ken Nesbit is very popular with children, not only in India but all over the world, and he has been awarded the Children's Poet Laureate. So here's Slok now. Yes, Slok, what are you performing today? I'm performing the poem Zoom Gloom by Ken Nesbit. Why did you choose this poem, Slok? Mom, I choose this uh, poem. because i also want to go to school and play with my friends <laughs> okay and the last question is how old are you shlok i am 9 years old all right great shlok do go ahead yeah zoom gloom by ken nesbit distance learning what a bore our schools been closed for a month or more I'm stuck at home. I'm in my room and meeting my class on Zoom. There's no lunch room, no PE, just studying and tests for me. There's no more recess, no more ball, just staring at my bedroom wall. The playground's closed. The swings, the slides, and everybody is stuck inside. We can't go out and play with friends. I hope that pretty soon this ends. I know it's only for a while, but here's a thought that makes me smile. Although it might not sound so cool, I just can't wait to go to school. Thank you. Wow! Very good. Thank you, Slok. Comic realism at its best. We do hope you'll be back in school soon. Thank you so much, Slok. And everybody, please send your feedback nine eight nine zero four one five four seven seven. Yeah, and the name is Slok. S H L O K. Please give him your star ratings. Thank you, Slok. Please unmute now. All right, and uh, please mute. I mean, sorry, and Aryan, you can please unmute. You are the next performer. Aryan, come in, please. Aryan. Ah, uh, Aryan has written and illustrated this tale. We cannot share his illustrations, but I assure you, he's as talented. an artist as he is a writer the only thing is i don't i hope he hasn't lost his internet connection is he in anyone can see no hello All right, everyone so, oh, i am anish sharma yeah yes hello i am anish sharma i am 9 years old 
I'm nine years old. Sound is gone. He is not speaking anything. He is speaking. His sound is not getting picked up. Oh. Hello, everyone. Hello, can anyone hear me? Yes, now we can hear yes, you. Yes. Come on. Hello, everyone. I am Arjun Sharma. I am eight. I am nine years old. I chose to write a poem because I love John Mostilton and his books. I wanted to write a story like him, like the writer. I wanted oh, to be a writer, but but what can I do? So I choose this because my illustrations are good as well. I have written many stories in this lockdown. So. Yeah, start, start, Aryan. Yes, very good. The Super Chef Contest. Beautiful morning. The first rays of sun peeked through my curtain as I tucked myself in my bed peacefully. Oops. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Stilton, Stephen Stilton. I live on Mouse Island. While I was snoring like a hibernating dormouse, I heard a bang. What was that deafening noise? I woke up, starlit, threw open the window, and splash a wet. Musty, disgusting ball hit me right in the mouth. I had never tasted something more familiar than that. Soon, I heard the familiar voice calling out to me. Maybe it's my cousin, Trav Silton, I exclaimed. I rushed downstairs and there he was. I asked him about the super camper he was carrying. He explained that he had bought it, the super camper, with his pocket money the previous day at a garage sale and wanted my assistance to win the super chef contest. I agreed and we met with Tabasco, another mouse who wanted to take part in the contest. Trap then narrated how he and Tabasco met. Together we went to an ancient dungeon and picked an ingredient we would need to prepare dishes for the contest. Six, the six teams that were participating were given a number each. Our team's number was two. Each team was also given 60 minutes to prepare their dishes. I decided to make my favorite blueberry pie while Trap made pizza and Tabasco made cheese chili. After about 10 minutes into the competition, each team was called to a challenge, which was the team that peeled the most number of corn cobs would get to put the other teams in timeout. Whoopee! Our team had peeled eight. The most number of corn cobs peeled. So we got the chance to put the other teams in timeout. This helped us to complete our dishes comfortably. Soon the 60 minute timer screeched. I was extremely nervous. Team 1 and 6 presented their dishes first, and then Team 3, 4, and 5. At last, it was our chance to present. We nervously placed our dishes in front of the judges. All three judges had one slice of cheese chili, pizza, 
and blueberry pie. With my fingers crossed, I waited in eagerly for the result to be declared. The first judge rated us 10, a perfect score, as I was expecting. The second judge gave us 9, but the third only gave us 7. I was a bit disappointed, disappointed and thought we were out of the contest. However, in the end, we realized that we will score the highly highest. We were thrilled as we did not expect to do so well. A thumping victory. So we got to keep a great the great golden fork, also a property on a name on Snowflake Island. I this was indeed an experience I was I will never forget. Thank you for listening to my story. I do hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it planning and writing it out. Thank you, Aryan. We really did enjoy that. You're a wonderful author. You use words very nicely. And that's a lovely tribute to Geronimo Stilton. Aryan, by the way, is joining us all the way from Delhi. Right, Aryan? All right. Yeah. So, Aryan, we enjoyed hearing about that Super Chef con contest. And we can't wait to sink our teeth into some delicious, scrumptious blueberry pie. All of you, please send your feedback. 989041547. The performer's name, Aryan. A-R-Y-A-N. Shrok, you can also send your feedback, please. All right. Next, next up is Tanush. Tanush, are you there? Can you unmute Aryan? Very well done. Can you mute your mic now? Thank you. Very good. Uh, Tanush, can you come in, please? Tanush is our youngest performer. He has chosen to perform Earth Day by Jane Yolen. We were greatly encouraged by this seven-year-old's choice of poem, and we do hope our planet will be safe in the hands of this next generation. Tanush, Tell us why you chose this poem. Uh, Ma'am, I chose this poem because I think it is very important and from this we can learn something. Thank you, Tanush. Well, do go ahead, Tanush. Yeah, Ma'am. Earth Day by Jane Yulin. I am the earth and the earth is me. Each blade of grass, each honey tree, each bit of mud and stick and stone, is blood and muscle, skin and bone. And just as I need every bit of me to make my body fit, so earth needs grass and stone and trees and things that grow in naturally. That's why we celebrate this day. That's why across the world we say, as long as life as the earth is free, I am the earth and the earth is me. My, that was so beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful, Tanush. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We will all of us pledge to take care of each bit of mud and stick and stone of our unique planet. Everyone, please. Uh, well, here's Aryan asking everyone to vote for him. Aryan, it's not a vote. It's a feedback, okay? Uh, Everyone, please send your feedback. Give Stanush your star rating at 989041547. Thanks so much, Stanush. All right. So now we will have the comically fantastical love story, The Owl and the Pussycat. This piece is a classic, and we congratulate Pasha on his steadfast determination to conquer the nuances of a language of a bygone era. Hello, Pasha. Hello, ma'am. Good evening. Are you Abby. there? Good, good to see you, Pasha. Pasha, did you enjoy preparing this? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Let's hear you then. Yes, ma'am. The Owl and the Pussycat by Edward Leah. The Owl and the Pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat. They took some honey and plenty of money, wrapped up in a five-pound note. The owl looked up 
to the stars above and send to a small Buddha, a lovely pussy. Oh, pussy, my love, what a beautiful pussy you are. You are, you are. What a beautiful pussy you are. Pussy said to the owl, You elegant fowl, how charmingly sweet you sing. Oh, let us be married. Too long, we have tarried. But what shall we do for a ring? They sail away for a year and a day to the land where the palm tree grows. And there in a wood, a piggy wig stood with the ring at the end of his nose. His nose, his nose, with a ring at the end of his nose. Dear pig, are you willing to sell for one shilling your ring? Said the piggy. I will. So they took it away and were married next day by the turkey who lives on the hill. They dine on mince and slices of quince, which they ate with a runcible spoon, and hand in hand on the edge of the sand. They dance by the light of the moon. The moon, the moon. They dance by the light of the moon. Thank you. Amazing, amazing. Wonderful. Thank you, Pasha. A big virtual hand for Pasha, everybody. And please send your feedback. 989041577. Thank you, Tanush. Name Pasha. P-A-S-H-A. Well, now we have only nine minutes left. So without any further waste of time, uh, we will invite our chief guest to say a few words of encouragement to today's performers and a few more to inspire all of us to give back to society as she has done. Yes, Elizabeth, can we hear from you? Uh, so thank you, everyone. It's been wonderful. I've enjoyed listening to all the performances, and uh, I, I was really uh, very, very impressed uh, by the range from uh, core values to uh, loving books, to cooking, to uh, competing, to the environment and learning, and love, ending it with the most important thing, love. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and also thank you for uh, asking me to be the chief guest. I'm honored. And uh, I want to tell all the participants that they've done very well. And I think it's been very courageous of them to come out and speak so boldly and uh, uh, putting so much of uh, energy and action. Uh, and diction is not very easy and remembering words, etc. So congratulations to all the participants. And uh, I also would say that you all have covered things which mean and matter and should matter today, which, as I said, is core values and uh, schooling and education as uh, 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 so what Shlok, Shlok said, right? And uh, uh, loving books at a time like this in the lockdown, I think it's wonderful that you love books, that you have something to do. Otherwise, you would be terribly bored. So it's an added advantage of uh, loving books and uh, picking up a book and reading and getting lost in the world of books and imagination. Uh, Aryan obviously has a lot of it, writing his own little pieces. And uh, uh, again, uh, this young little boy, uh, Tanush, uh, environment is so important today. Uh, in a world and all of us, uh, I think that uh, looking at all the topics you all have chosen, uh, they're very important topics. And uh, Pasha, uh, it was very wonderful to hear you speak and recite that uh, owl and the pussy cat. I am uh, truly amazed, and uh, I I think that uh, you all have done a wonderful job, and uh, Maria and Sandy and uh, the children have something to look forward to other than video games and uh, <laughs> other activities, which, yeah, it, it, this gives uh, kids a sense of an achievement and pride 
in what they have done. And I would urge the kids and their parents to uh, uh, encourage the kids to give back to society in things which they have chosen here as their topics of uh, uh, passion. And uh, 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 children today uh, have, have a wonderful way of uh, making, bringing us back to what matters. Uh, and uh, I think all, all of you children here have done that. Uh, these are things which matter. And uh, also, uh, parents, please encourage your kids in this rather than uh, uh, today's world is so much career. And I think if we go back to what the kids have chosen is real and it's true and it's honest and uh, will definitely bring about a better world and the generations, the next generation is the generation who will show the way. Thank you. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. That was a lovely speech. I'm sure all the children uh, will, will carry that with them as they go through life. And thank you, everybody. Do not forget, we have only a few minutes left. Do not forget to tune in tomorrow for another delightful evening. Good night, all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elizabeth. Good night. Bye. Good night.